Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial we are going to learn about Jtable in Java. So I have created this uh, Jtable example uh, project but I do not have anything inside this so I'll create a JFrame inside this so I'll click on this uh, and new JFrame form and uh, uh, table I will name this table frame and now I will uh, finish to create this now we have created a frame J frame so I'll expand it and uh, I'll drag in a table into it now we have this uh, J table so um, we can change uh, the, these uh, columns from designer as well as we can change these columns uh, uh, programmatically but but we will uh, change it programmatically so for that I will go to the source and uh, here in this uh, table frame uh, constructor I will create um, or outside this I will create a method um, public wide uh, populate uh, table and now I'm going to create here a string array uh, columns and this will take um, uh, ID name and salary so these are the columns and uh, then we will have another uh, string two-dimensional array so string data and uh, here I can use two-dimensional array equals and then curly braces and uh, now inside this I'll create another set of curly braces and inside this I will use a uh, 101 comma uh, Ronaldo uh, comma uh, series uh, this one and then uh, uh, I will use another put comma here enter uh, I need semicolon there I put comma here enter and now I'll uh, add another array, array. Uh, ID will be 102 and this will become ne nema and the salary will be this and then we will add another one as well and uh, this will become the id will 103 and uh, this will become um, mbepe and the salary will become this and that's all now we will create a default uh, uh, table model so I will use uh, and now we will import this import and uh, this will be model equals uh, new default uh, table model and now here we have to pass uh, the data and the columns and I'll put semicolon now the next thing we will do is uh, we will populate the J table so what is the name of our J table so it is here J table 1 so I'll come here and uh, J uh, table 
control space one dot sit model and I will use this model now I'll call this inside this constructor so I'll control space and now if I run this it should show me a J table with this data now you can see we have created a J table with these columns and this data uh, so that's all for today I hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment and in the next video we will create or populate this J table uh, from database so that's all thank you